Okay, this is one of my favorite Mormon stories. And for those of you who don't know, in Mormonism, once a month, usually it's the first Sunday of every month, they <laughs> let whoever wants to get up in the congregation. You don't even have to be a member of that congregation. Just anyone in the congregation who feels like moved by the spirit can get up and bear their testimony. Now, if you're saying inappropriate things or you're not actually bearing your testimony, they're supposed to ask you gently to get down. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes I swear the bishops are like, this is entertaining. I'm just gonna <laughs> let Sister Jones go off here. But one of my brothers was in a ward where this guy gets up. This guy, he's married with children. His wife is in the pews in the front there, okay? His kids are there. Everybody's there. The whole ward, the whole parish assembly is there. And he gets up for this fast and testimony meeting because the spirit moved him to do so. And he's like, I feel obligated to confess something to you all. I have committed adultery. I have committed adultery. And then he points to the bishop's wife. Okay, not his wife, the bishop's wife. I have committed adultery with that woman. And he's going on this thing and everybody in the congregation is like, what? And <laughs> he starts going off. If a man so looketh upon a woman with lust or whatever that scripture is, then basically the scripture that means if you like lust after a woman, you've basically already, you know, committed a sin type of a thing. And so he's like, I have been lusting after her. And like the bishop, the bishop had to stand up and ask him to come down. And I'm just like, oh, the things people confess sometimes during testimony meeting, you're not supposed to confess anything. You're supposed to stand up and say, I love Jesus. Here is what Jesus did for me this week. Here's why I think the church is great. But there are so many things. I had a man get up in one of the wards that I was in who was like, God came to me in the form of a dog and told me to quit my wife and abandon my children in a foreign, comp in a foreign country so I could come talk to you today. And he also came to me in the form of a dove and started talking to me. And I'm like, oh, gracious. And the bishop just let this guy go on for like 25 minutes after the meeting was supposed to be over, just chatting about how Jesus was coming and chatting with him in the form of different animals and telling him to do all these really unhealthy things. So sacrament meetings are uh, entertaining to say the least. I, I know even as a member, I knew it was inappropriate to enjoy that, but I mean, sometimes it was, it was moderately entertaining, especially people that would get up and like offer like sexual confessions. You're like, this is, this is a lot. This is a lot.